I'm Rebecca Frost of the Hello Sweetie podcast. This is Zach. I'm Yao. I'm Nathan Sims. I'm Chim Po. Let's see what one lucky YouTube subscriber is going to win this week. Smash Up is a game where each player smashes two weird factions together and tries to crush all the others. This copy was given to us personally by Alderac Entertainment Group, the game's publisher, and it is autographed by the project art director, Adrian Burton. Unsigned copies are priced at 50. Personally, we consider this copy priceless. So let's find out who our online player is. Did you guys grab that already? Way ahead of me. Yep. Yep. The Rev T Skills with a Z at the end. MMA Grills with a Z. All right, MMA Grills with a Z. All right, red and blue teams, good luck, and let's see who takes this baby home. And remember, the other subscriber picked will win a $20 gift card to Amazon.com. You guys ready for some prizes? Yes. Okay, let's do this. Red team is 087. Yeah. There you go, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He came dressed for the occasion. He, he on this. Yeah. <laughs> and to represent the blue, 094. Hey! Oh, yeah. Look at that! Blue team's going down. <laughs> the red team. Brent. What is your favorite fandom? Ooh, this is a tough one, but I'm gonna have to go with Star Trek, mother trucker! <laughs> and to represent Blue Team, we have... James. Pizza or cold cereal? Cold pizza. Whoa! No tomato, hmm! Nice. <laughs> Everyone, I hope you got your swimsuits on for the prize pool, okay. <laughs> Fighting crime and supervillains all day can work up a real sweat. Seriously, how do you think all those superheroes stay so ripped? But you gotta stay hydrated. It's important. And what better way than to drink out of your very own superhero printed tumbler? You gotta have that high quality H2O. <laughs> With movies like Batman vs. Superman, Captain America Civil War, and Suicide Squad, 2016 it was the year that superheroes couldn't get along, but supervillains were downright chummy. Choose a supervillain and tell us what advice they would give to the heroes on how to just get along. I'm gonna have to go with Voldemort. See, I think that if they gave him one of those little squeaky red clown noses, he'd be really pacified. Plus, plus, it serves as a really nice horcrux. He'd just be like, dude, thanks. I don't look so disfigured anymore. My rage is gone. And a piece of my soul will always be here with me. Um, how, yeah, what's the advice? Get him the red rubber nose. No, to the other superheroes. And I'm so sorry, you must give your answer like you're swatting in an attacking swarm of mosquitoes. Well, at that point, Happy Voldemort is like, brah, look at this, look at your wands, they're not even made, I don't even know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, since Blue Team has an actual answer. <clears throat> James? <laughs> Remember, you're swatting away mosquitoes. I'll do it for him, don't worry. Resistance is futile. It is Go futile away. to resist. Ugh. So we said the Borg, and if you just assimilate, we'd all get along. Okay. So we've got Voldemort and the Borg, uh, and again, if you have a different answer, we'd love to hear it as well. Uh, any answers? I'm voting for the Borg. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like the Voldemort one because I don't think you can tell superheroes what to do because they won't listen anyway. <laughs> if I were to answer, I would have said the Joker and I would have just said laugh. Obviously. Uh, laugh it off. Super simple. Obviously. But I'm probably going to choose the Borg. Thank you. Borg. All right, one and one. Well, it's got to be the Borg because they assimilate everything. Thank you. And uh, I, I would have said Lex Luthor because. Uh, getting along with your allies is best for business. All right, so point for blue team. Congratulations on your tumbler. More cuts. My name is Justin, and I won this awesome Superman vs. Batman from uh, Black Cat Comics. Awesome. On the TNT show. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> get the plug in. Hold on. Uh, I'm Jeremy, and I just won this awesome shirt from the TNT show. Yeah. Woo! Congratulations. For the red team, 092. Yeah! Woo! Repeat offender. Representing blue team, which is better than red team, 085. Yeah! New challenger approaches. Let's introduce our new players. Representing blue team is Jeremy. 
Jeremy. Our repeat offender. Amber. Have you ever eaten a chimichanga? Not that I know of. What? <laughs> Deadpool would cry. Oh my god, you're missing out. The door is there. <laughs> and there's like a rant I think me and James can hold the, the team pretty fine. <laughs> Favorite Batman villain? Probably Deathstroke. So I just like him a lot. <laughs> It's a good villain. This next round of prizes contains 100% of your daily value of vitamin C. They're fat-free, gluten-free, and made with real fruit. See, Mom? I told you fruit snacks were good for you. Well, at the very least, the contents of this box have got to be better for you than the contents of the last Fantastic Four movie. <laughs> oh. No, it's true. It's true. Shots fired. Okay, nerds, what is the best pickup line to use on a Star Wars fan? After your answer, your whole team must dab. Oh, I'm an adult. Yes. I'm an adult. I could ask you to whip and or nay nay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, will you please whip your hair back and forth? <laughs> yeah, I think I got whiplash. All right, what's your best pickup line? You are the droid I'm looking for. Oh! This one's PG-13, I apologize. <laughs> oh, hey girl, did Han shoot first or will I? <laughs> <laughs> this vote's really serious because, you know, this is probably gonna, I'm using this to get my date next weekend. She's like, don't use it either, please. <laughs> I have to vote for the blue team because- oh. You! <laughs> no, he, he used that same pickup line on me when we first met and now we're married. Nice. Oh. It works. Oh, so it works. So his droids are operational. <laughs> you raise your hand, all right. You're too young to answer this question. I gotta say, on. Yeah! <laughs> PG-13! My suggestion for a pickup line is, um, hey baby, I'm not only a master at using the lightsaber, you know? <laughs> you are too young for this answer. What's your... What's... <laughs> Deciding vote. Here we go. This is a good one. I have to go with Han, because yes. he's just so yeah. smooth and swabby. <laughs> awesome. Okay, all right, so let's see. My name is Thomas, and I just won this sweet Star Labs coffee uh, mug on the TNT show. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Tracy, and I won this amazing Spider-Man comic from Game Haven on the TNT show. Yeah. Right, congratulations. <laughs> Representing blue team, 086. You! Yeah. Come on down! Oh. <laughs> ball, team Ball Guys! We're the Ball Man Group. <laughs> 089. Yeah. Another repeat offender. Tracy. Have you ever seen the inside of a Turkish prison camp? What? <laughs> it's an airplane. Unfortunately, oh. no. <laughs> They're beautiful this time of year. Um, representing blue team is... Joe. Where are you from? A Turkish person camp. Uh, the, hard, the hard streets of Sandy, Utah. <laughs> we at the TNT show think y'all are super sweet. We also think that Star Wars is pretty sweet. Yeah. So what's better than Star Wars lollipops? We also think that Batman and Superman are sweet too, so we threw in some Justice League Dice Master Packs as well. These come from Demolition Games on 33rd South. Yeah. You are police officers. You find the Batmobile illegally parked in a handicap zone. What do you do? Give your answer through an invisible CB radio. Yeah, breaker, breaker. Uh, you're gonna want to tow it to the precinct so we can joyride that baby. <laughs> Brother one honor. You know, Batmobile sitting over here on the curb. Boot it and leave it like his parent. Leave it like we did his parents. Over. Could you say that? Uh... Boot it and leave it on the street like his dead parents. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Savage. Don't park in the red zone. So we got joyriding, booting. Like dead parents. <laughs> I gotta put a vote in for towing it and Ferris Bueller joyriding the hell out of that thing. Yeah. You gotta go with the joyride. I mean, it's the Batmobile. Oh, yeah.
Congratulations, red team. I believe that's uh, two for the red team. Yes. All right, congratulations, MMA Grills, on your smash up. I got smashed up. I apparently can't say that. My name is Athena, and I won this spouse beater thing from the Teen Twister. It's an inflatable Harley Quinn hammer. We do not encourage at all any form of spouse abuse. Do it. Okay. I, I promise I won't. <laughs> Thank you very much again to our hosts for coming out here. Thank you for having us. Right. We'd like to thank Black Cat Comics, uh, Demolition Games, Game Grid Lehigh, and uh, Game Haven for donating all our prizes tonight. And until next time, remember. Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? And we'll see you on the I TNT was show. Star Wars one. Now you can't. No! <laughs>